What is good, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today, I got my test hands for the 42 card Scrap Orcus build. Uh, this build has been very fun. Really enjoying it. Uh, I've been testing some stuff online. I've been I kept this build the same, so it'd be the exact same build as I showed uh, as I showed you guys. But uh, yeah, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Share with all your friends if you haven't already. Uh, follow me on Instagram. That's where I'm going to be updating on the channel and just everything overall. So yeah, let's get to it. Nightmare, Nib, Imperm. All right, so that's an interesting hand. And by interesting, I mean that sucks. <laughs> but it is playable. So we're going to go normal effect. Dun, 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 dun. Sadly, we're not going to be able to go with the scrap uh, combo. But, you know, it is what it is. Obviously, it sucks when you draw the Rosenix, but it is what it is. Uh, bombard, summon, nightmare. Uh, these two into Gala, because obviously you're locked into darks. Let me bring this down a bit. Uh, we're going to go effective Galate here. Let's get stop. It doesn't really matter at this point. Uh, we're going to get something, probably. Uh, this is not really a good option, so I guess Babel, so at least I can still use something. Nightmare, I guess. Uh, so Nightmare, we're going to dump the wand. Yeah, if uh, worst comes to worst, we still have Nibiru and Perm, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, we're going to go this. Into Bardishwe. Good. I can't get everything in. There we go. That's good enough. Effect. Uh, well, that sucks. Realistically, best board you're making here. Not uh, sending boots. Fog blade. Add second fog blade. And then you set in perm. Fog blade and. Yeah, that's about it. Uh, this gives you three interruptions in this, plus, uh, free Nibiru, basically. Uh, which you also don't even have to, like, fully resolve, because you can just chain Nightmare, which is always really good. Uh, so yeah, that's about that hand. Sadly, we drew the Rosenix, so I couldn't show everything, but, hey, it's good enough. It should let you survive, and then you'll have... All the follow-up that you need. So yeah, that's test hand numero uno. Let's power shuffle this. Ah, I just knocked over my whole extra deck. But it's fine. It is what it is. And yeah, 42. Okay, good. At least I was right on that aspect. Now, let's see if we can draw this boy, but without the Rosenix. So we're going to cut. And, and perm. Okay, there she is again. Gursu. <laughs> I'm getting trolled. This is a really good hand. So, I'm going to go Recycler. Let me find my dice, just so it doesn't seem hella sketch when I use my danger. So yeah, Recycler is going to send uh, Nightmare. Uh, I don't really care about the Imperm. I'd rather keep this in hand, so we're going to go Jackalope. Uh, so it's a 1-4. or one. Yeah, we'll go 1-4. to I'm a 4-head. 6... Five, two, perfect, boom, easy clappers. Oh my, are you serious? <laughs> what are the chances of that? That's crazy. Um, wow, that's really unfortunate. 
Uh, we can still do something here. So I'm still... Oh my god, that actually sucks so bad. So I'm gonna use Rosenix to summon a token. This for that. Oh, I hate this. <laughs> no. Oh, that's so terrible. Why did I have to draw that? Yeah, I want you guys to see just stuff can happen. You gotta think of the best outcome of this hand. Ah, <sighs> that is so terrible. If only I sent a wand, I'd be fine here. Um. Ah. So, those. No, 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 no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Maybe, kinda. Not really. Oh, that's fine, actually. Yeah, yeah, we're good, we're good. All right, bless. Uh, different names, perfect. So we can make barricade to discard the golem. Go these two into wyvern. Wyvern, I believe, doesn't negate the effect, so it should be fine. We'll just pop the wyvern. It is what it is. It sucks, but good enough. Effect. And sound recycler, effective recycler, send baguette. Uh, these two will go into lib. Uh, lib will get us succession. So we did have to minus, but like it's, it's not the end of the world. So succession, succession will get us back the golem. The golem will get us the recycler. The recycler. We'll dump the... Th oh, we can send Bombard, because we have Gearsu in hand. I'll just keep that in frame. Sorry that there's a hella glare. I can't really do anything about that. Uh, my lighting's kind of just poo. So, then... I can do something, probably. Uh... Do I make Appalooza here is the real question. Do I care enough? Probably not. So we're going to go Bombard to Gearsu. Gearsu. It's going to send Skelly. Um, these two... For Galatea, Galatea will put Rosenix back to get the Babel. And I really hope I read that right. Does the Wyvern doesn't negate, right? And da -da, you can turn a special summon, strong card control. Okay, bless. Yeah, just special summon. That's it. Uh, so yeah, we'll get the babble. <laughs> Sorry, bad, bad Orcus player here. And then we are going to use K-Nightmare to send a second wand. Just because it's good for follow-up afterwards. The wand is going to summon K-Nightmare again. Here we go with these two. Into Bordique. And then, uh, Bardiche, we're gonna set Fogblade by sending Cloak, Cloak, to add Boots. That's pretty good, pretty good. And yeah, that's Live up top, if you guys didn't know. Uh, Sackler is kind of just doing nothing, but it can be another uh, material for uh, Mascarena, so that's fine. So this is set. Then we're going to summon Dingir to attach this. 
special boots. Make mascarina. But yeah, I traditionally don't make unicorns, so it doesn't really matter if I set this. But if I did, I would just keep this in hand, depending on the matchup. Then we're going to go boots. Uh, I just passed it. Fog blade. And that is your end board. So, we have... Okay, I just dropped the whole fog blade. So, for this hand, we have three interruptions and traps. We have Mascarina to make a, an Appalooza for three. That can be destroyed by card effects. And, so that's three, six, seven in libs. Uh, shuffle back. Then we have a Skeleton to summon Dingirsu. So that's uh, seven, wait no, eight, nine. This is nine interruption board. Even though I drew Fridge off of that <laughs> off of that danger but overall that's a very very solid board uh i did get unlucky in drawing the fridge but realistically it was just a minus one to get um, an amazing board yeah basically that's why i wanted to keep the appalooza if you guys are wondering uh instead of making it on my own turn obviously it's risky with uh nibiru being a thing but i feel like they would have nibiru earlier if they had it which they should, before I get any resources in Grave. But yeah, that's, uh, that's hand number two, I think. That was a long one. Uh, yeah, don't be afraid to think about your plays. Sometimes, uh, sometimes it gets awkward. Uh, so yeah, just, just think about it a bit, you know what I'm saying? We get to the third and final one. And we'll say our opponent has like an imperm i don't know i don't really know like how to test in those scenarios i just kind of like uh play online to get actual interaction but yeah we'll say they have an imperm and i'll do it when it's basically the best time to do so so we got a meister fog blade bombard golem and girsu uh, this hand's uh, pretty bad, but, uh, yeah, normal, they go Imperm, you go set one, that is the best, Gearsu is the best target for Imperm in this deck, uh, but yeah, you, you still have Fogblade Meister, so you should survive realistically, and then, you know, hopefully you can, like, pop off or whatever, you really can't, but, <laughs> it is what it is, yeah, that hand wasn't great, uh, I don't know why I keep drawing Golem, I'm gonna cut and we're gonna cut again so now this is the final one because that last one literally i didn't do anything so again we'll say they have imperm it's not starting well i'm not gonna lie to you it's really okay so that's really bad as well and i want to show you guys these hands because not every deck always draws super good uh, especially not this one where you kind of have to rely on other things to win sometimes like, especially because this deck just loses to kind of everything. So we have all three hand traps that I play, plus questionable cards. At least one of them is an interruption. And then if this doesn't get ashed, maybe you can go off. Yeah. It's better that you guys see this. So you see that, like, I don't always draw a starter. And I'm 100% telling you I'm not going to start. Like, I'm not going to play more starters because I don't want to draw too many starters. <laughs> yeah. Uh, like hands aren't always like just super good, and that's something you gotta deal with th with this deck. Uh, again, if they have imperm, uh, you kind of don't have anything for that. Uh, you would normal summon this send bombard because you have double nightmare. Uh, but yeah, let me let me actually just show you guys what you can realistically do. Like I said in my comment section a couple times, I kind of just freestyle with my hands. Uh, just so the fluidity of my plays is a bit better. And it's not always just the exact same thing. Oh, go Bardish, uh, go Appalooza here, go, you know. Uh, then we're going to summon the token. That's going to summon Link Rebo. We're going to go Bombard, summon Nightmare. We're going to go these two. 
into Gala. Gala is going to put Bombard back and summon. Uh, yes. <laughs> Why did I say summon? What, hello? Uh, yeah, Babel. Babel's generally what you're always going to be going for. Uh, it's just kind of the best option, like almost always. Now, I'm just going to show you guys the most generic board. Let's just go Barty's here. I don't know why I app. Yeah, what, what am I doing? Uh, Bardish. Yeah, this is like the most generic thing you can do with the deck. And you gotta remember, Fogblade is really, really good, especially like in the Dino matchup. Uh, this deck kind of just doesn't have a bad Dino matchup. Okay, this goes to my hand uh, overall. But uh, it can get tricky at times with uh, certain aspects. Uh, we're going to send the, the thing, not, to, not one this time, because I want to summon the Galatea out of my grave, summon Dane, attach Skeleton, because uh, when you summon, I usually attach just for resource management, plus it's a protect, you got to remember that. Uh, I mean on their turn, obviously. Uh, so I'll attach the Nightmare, so I have the one for next turn. And then here, uh, if you drew the uh, the Counter Trap, you could go for Galatea. But I like to just go uh, Massacre and a Pass. Well, obviously with the Fog Blade. But yeah, overall, it's like, it's, it's a super generic board. Uh, they shouldn't be able to just go normal summon, attack Massacre and because I do have double Fog Blade. Uh... Plus, I have Dengirsu engraved. That's realistically just the material, because sadly you can't use Bardish for some reason. Actually, that would make Bardish incredibly broken, but you know what I'm saying. Anyways, I hope you guys did enjoy this. Uh, got more interruptions there. Overall, this deck is just really fun. Uh, I wouldn't bring this to a tournament anytime soon with the meta being just way too fast. Uh, this deck does have does have a hard time playing through hand traps, but sometimes it can if you draw the right cards. Just like realistically any deck, but this just has less options. Uh, I definitely give it a try. I'm never going to give up on this deck. I love this deck, and I hope you guys give it a try as well. Um, if you're not comfortable with buying cards, well, it doesn't really matter. You can just try it online. You know what I'm saying? Always test stuff before you actually purchase cards. Because uh, things can get costly. Let's just say that. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to like, subscribe, share with all your friends. Let, let's get me to 500 by the end of the year. Uh, my next giveaway is going to be a 350. And then the next one is going to be a 500. And if somehow, the next one is going to be at 1,000. And I've already announced that is for the 1,000 giveaway, I'm giving away my Ultimate Rare Dweller, Abyss Dweller. So, yeah, make sure to share with all your friends. Uh, get them to see this video. If they like it, make sure have them uh, sub. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Anyways, love you guys. Thank you for supporting me. Uh, even though I only have, I want to say, 290 subs, I am grateful to every single one of you for already just, just being here, to be honest. This has been a very fun ride so far, and I hope that it goes far. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Stay safe, and peace.